we've just uh, come for a a last minute dash down to Fingal for a bit of a camp. But uh, check out, so tent there and then ocean. I'm just gonna put the kayak, like the kayak's just here and I'll just quickly maybe dump it on the other side of that fence and in the morning I'll sneak away and hopefully we'll get some, maybe some shallow water snapper. It's only gonna be, like there's no surf so the bombing will be flat as so I'll be able to cover the whole reef. So that'll be fun. Hey Dash. Having fun? Uh, just talking to the camera as usual. That's our Cook Island. So we'll paddle out to there, we'll do Fido's. If this wind dies a little bit. What's that? Hey Fox! Come on! Don't spill your bowl. Come on, don't fall down there. Just watch, stop, stop. Dude, you're gonna, you're gonna fall. You're either gonna fall or you're gonna drop your chips. Let's see, okay, which is it gonna be? Watch out! Oh, oh none of them. Well done. So anyway, yeah. Oh, oh, you almost dropped them then, mate. The weather is nice. I'm gonna go and we'll go sit with some liveies, and we'll take them for a sort of a burn out wider. Maybe you never know. There might be some cheeky kingfish around. Fox. <laughs> Not even a hint of like. You like you can hear me. You just won't turn around because <laughs> he knows. Oh, here he comes. Come on, mate. Good morning, work sounder, and it's freezing. <laughs> uh, all right, well, the uh, quick camping sessions, it's been a pretty sweet deal so far, apart from the freezing cold. Like, I had a sleeping bag, and we had like a million dunas and everything that we brought, and I was still pretty chilly, and I think the wife and the kids are freezing, like, but uh, we've pushed through, the sun's starting to come up. I can see a lot of boats heading out, which is a bit annoying because they all sort of seem to be, I can see them all sort of planting themselves on fire days where I wanted to go, but whatever. Cook Island is looking as cool as it always does and I'm sitting here talking, I guess I should go. I was just waiting for the sounder to get going. There's so much dew on the whole kayak, I can't, my hands are wet and the sound is wet, I can't get the touch screen to work. But it is working now. Finally, so uh, I guess we get paddling. Probably should shut this up as well. Oh, look, there's someone coming. This looks like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> up and we got some bait straight off there in just a kind of sort of random area so where the sounder really comes into its own isn't it all right that's good if we can get a couple more just like that that quickly we'll be looking real good all right yeah now we're on a big school this is great this is gonna make life a lot easier come on buddy Sometimes it can be a bit finicky finding bait just around here Because the uh, little wreck that I usually get them off is pretty shallow Can make it difficult And this is just perfect look they're just sitting out in the open here Just making it make it very easy for me So I've got three probably don't need many many more realistically because it's So I'll just grab a few more We'll see how it goes. Right. Oh, there's so many. Look at this. Look how many marks. There's so many bait. So many fishes. <laughs> so many markings is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> there's lots of bait. There's obviously some bigger stuff zipping around down there as well. Those marks are pretty big for a, <laughs> for just yellowtail or yakkers. All right. Down we go. Just a few more. the spot obviously I can't get him <laughs> those bigger marks all right maybe we'll quickly turn around maybe we're just off where they were all righty this should just about do us
All right, so bait's on. Plenty in the little tub there, the bait bucket. Big plastic, the big wiggly tail on. We'll have a flick for snapper with that and drop it down a few times. And then I've got the other lighter rod, the bait jig rod, which I'll rig up again once we get out there, once I've got some time to sort of hang around with my livey in the right spot. And we'll see if uh, we can have a flick in some shallower water as well. So livey out on one side, plastic and snapper hunting on the other. Now we'll just get out to fighters and drift around a bit and see what happens, I guess. Cook Island looking amazing as usual. And there is like zero wind, lots of bait. Feeling pretty positive. So let's see what it produces. I've got to stay away from Cook Island, it's a sanctuary zone. Can't fish within a certain radius of it. So I've sort of got to go around a little bit. But shouldn't take long to get out there now. That's the only problem with putting liveys on so early. Probably should have kept him in the bucket a little longer because it uh, sort of slows my paddling down. But I think he's swimming quite well with me. I can't see much slack, uh, much tension on the line. So he's obviously traveling pretty well. So we'll sort of up the speed and we'll see when he blows out. Come on, I've got to get him off the bottom. <laughs> Alright, so I'm assuming he's going to be a good snapper. He's got a bit of pull about him and I've tightened the drag up on him. But I don't want to, oh, don't want to give him too much leeway either. Got to get him up. Oh, what's he going to be? Oh, keep that paddle away from it, eh? Alright, we've got him up about enough to sort of get a bit more organised, I think. <laughs> Alright, a few drops have produced, probably only maybe the fourth drop. That looks like a good snapper, holy smokes, look at him. He's a great snapper. Loosen that drag a bit. Let's uh, prep for getting this guy in. I'm not going to use the gaff. All right, that is a great snapper. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go in. <laughs> yeah, look, he's a. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Well, I think I'll drop a few more times here. That live is still out there, but I don't think I'm going to need him enough after all that. Jeez, feel that drag. Look, that's how much drag I had on. That's tight. And he was pulling that no problems. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Well, we know some decent ones are hanging around, so I think I'm just gonna stick here. It's, uh, it's a little bit of wind. There's no need to sort of go too far, obviously. <laughs> oh, he's a gray one, man. We are gonna have a feast. Any bigger than that, and I might even let it go. It's a bit, uh, a bit of a, like, you know, a snapper that size has got to be probably 30 years old, you know what I mean? So you can't help but feel a bit sorry for them. Old man of the sea. So maybe have a couple more drops, see what it produces. Oh man, that is good. So good to get a fish straight off the bat, you know what I mean? Like, makes the whole day like there's no pressure now. You can sort of enjoy not that I don't enjoy the whole process, but hey, when you've got a fish on board, it's always just that little bit more relaxing. <laughs> Pressure's off. All right, I guess we should check this livey as well while we're at it. 
He's had the sort of a bit of a fast ride out. I'm sure he's not enjoying his time at all. Doesn't even feel like there's one on here actually. Oh no, there is. Oh, and look, something's had a uh, a nice clean bite out of him. <laughs> oh, he's still breathing. I'm sorry, buddy. Here, yeah, just go, go in there. Oh, no. It's not looking good for you, mate. It's not looking good at all. Wonder what had a chomp of him. Could just be a tailor. Could have been something a bit more exciting. But a clean bite like that, there's a good chance it's just a tailor, but it's not a bad one though. <laughs> All right, put another ivy on. More drops for snapper. I'd take one more snapper like that, I think, and then we'll let them go from this point on. All right. Oh, the unlucky lottery. Who's it going to be? Oh, it's you, mate. Sorry. <laughs> That's a very unlucky fish right there. You notice I've got wire on for some reason. That's just simply because, one, you never know what could happen, and two, I was just too lazy to make up a, uh, a double hook like snelled rig, and that's what was hanging on the shelf. So, <laughs> so there's nothing too uh, clever or amazing about that decision. All right, let's have another drop. Well, we've got some tiny here, and it feels like a dead weight. So, yeah, just as suspected. No trip is complete for me without catching a few of these. <laughs> Here I was thinking I wasn't going to get one, eh? 